Rezal Lazir, the triumphant fall. The trigger clicked. Another empty clip slid from its purchase and dropped to the dark stone floor. It was the last. His rifle was dry. Rezal spun the weapon in his hand, grabbing hard around the barrel like a club. A new wave of chittering death was upon him, fragile but aggressive, overwhelming in their number and oppressive in their rage. The stock of the rifle connected with skull after skull. They caved and fell, like the others before. The pile of vanquished nightmares, half bone, half dust, grew at Rezel's feet. There was a calm to him, an ease. The chaos of battle was no time to panic. His swing was wide but measured, no wasted movement. A demon crawled at his back, then another. They were heavier than their frail frames would suggest. He gave a shrug and a shake, turned and hammered the stock hard into the side of one creature's temple. Its skull splintered and the stock lodged deep in the wet, chalky mass beneath the bone. He made a fleeting effort to break the rifle free, but had to let it fall away as the rush of demons increased. Rezel kicked the other monster to the floor stepping on its neck while shifting to backhand a throng of attackers, eager to make their killing lunge. If the rifle, his battle-worn inferno, had served to thin the herd and buy Rezel time to assess the hold of the situation, his rose would see him through. It always had. The titan, awash in the ash and gore of his enemies, pulled his cannon and in one motion feathered the trigger to level the wretched beast closest to him. The bloom from each shot lit the cavern with flashes of red heat, a garden of angry roses blooming in pointed defiance of this vile, hateful kingdom of shadows. On the far end of the sea of gnashing maws, the wicked woman danced in the air, watching, waiting. Rezel's cannon was loaded and ready to fire as if it was an afterthought. He let loose another barrage and six more demons slumped lifeless upon the pile. The witch unleashed a violent cry. And, as quickly as it had begun, the onslaught subsided. The chittering fell from a deafening roar to an eerie chorus, humming through the ebon haze just beyond his sight. Rezel stood, straightened his tired back, and took long, deep breaths. The storm had not been weathered. He could feel it in his gut. He stood now, not at peace, but within the eye, the swirling, terrible lull before the waves came crashing once more. The wicked woman laughed, a horrid, grating screech, followed by footsteps, heavy and hard. Thoom, 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 thoom. Rezel squinted against the dark as he slid new lead into his cannon cylinder. A shape took form approaching from the deep. A being of might and mass that dwarfed the titan. A cleaver the size of an ordinary man, bigger, hung effortlessly in its hand. Its body was thick with ornate bone, a living armor that was one with the beast. Rezel let out an accepting 